coming up on Look Today, the New York State budget allocates money for infrastructure changes in our area. I've got details. And we have an update on the High Rock parking lot proposal. More on that coming up. And tests reveal that no PFOA contamination in Hoosick Falls soil. I've got those details. It's all ahead on Look Today. Welcome everyone, I'm Jay Hood Jackson and this is Look Today. On well, tonight's program, I sit down with Jeff Mead. He's the general manager of the Glens Falls Civic Center and he's here to talk about recent events at the center as well as a discussion about the Queensbury Hotel. I also sit down with Chad Rabinovitz. Now he's a producing artistic director of the Adirondack Theater Festival in Glens Falls and he's here to talk about the upcoming productions. They've got a brand new season coming up this June. Plus, we have your weather for the Tri-North Counties, but first, these headline stories. Well, in our lead story, $450,000 of New York State budget will be allocated to Lake George preservation projects. Budget Director Robert Mujica talked about the budget at the Queensbury Hotel yesterday in Glens Falls. Now, according to him, the new budget continues Governor Cuomo's pattern of cutting taxes and encouraging local governments and school districts to control property taxes. Now, a lot of the funding will go toward road, work, water systems, and underground infrastructures. Now, that's throughout all of the state. Now, a lot of emphasis was put on funding for sewer construction. Now, we were at that budget press conference yesterday where Robert Mujica spoke about this. Infrastructure. $200 million for water infrastructure. This is on top of money that we put over $100 million last year. Um, and as we all know, um, the need there continues. So we envision going, doing this and continuing every year. Wow, a lot of money. In other news, well, we got an update on the High Rock parking lot proposal in Saratoga. Now, after a lengthy debate, the Saratoga City Council voted in favor of the city center to build a parking facility on the High Rock property. Now, the parking garage will take up one-third of the High Rock lot. The proposal was passed with a three-to-two vote, Mayor Joanne Yepsen being one of the dissenters. Now, she spoke at the meeting. The mixed-use approach will generate more revenue for the city and encourages more street activity and connectivity, which I think is important. Um, do I feel like this should go on forever? No, absolutely not. But I still don't think the standalone garage is the best solution. Well, that's a big issue here in Saratoga. Well, the city center's plan was approved over the mixed use plan proposed by two other developer teams. You might remember we did an interview with one of those teams, I think it was last week. And the mixed use plan designed to comply with the city's historic building pattern, and that was supported by Mayor Yepsen. Now, would have included office spaces and individual buildings to avoid the uniformity of a monolithic structure. Well, the High Rock parking lot will be leased to the city center for $50,000 a year. Well, switching from news to weather, what about this weather? Well, today's temperatures remained in the mid to low 30s, with some sunshine and, of course, some overcast skies. Well, temperatures are expected to increase tomorrow. For a more detailed look at our weather, we're going to head to the Glens Falls Weather Center for a look at your first forecast. Now, here's some good news. Tests reveal that there is no PFOA contamination in Hoosick Falls soil. The Environmental Protection Agency advised the residents of Hoosick Falls about a month ago not to drink its water after traces of the chemical were found in its water supply. Now, while parks and fields in Hoosick Falls reveal little or no amount of the chemical, tests are still being performed on its drinking water. The chemical used, this chemical, by the way, PFOA, was used in Teflon coatings and firefighting foams. and has been found in drinking water of factory towns all around the country. Now, in light of this discovery, people have been very cautious about where their water comes from. Well, we're going to keep you updated as we gather more details, because it could be involve other townships in our region. 
In other news, we received reports of a motor vehicle accident last night in Glens Falls. The accident occurred on Warren Street in Glens Falls around 8 p.m. last night. A late model white Jeep suffered heavy damage from the accident when it went off the road. Thankfully, there were no reports of injuries. However, we are still awaiting more details. And we'll keep you updated on that as we get more information. Well, up next, I sit down with Jeff Mead. He's the general manager of the Glens Falls Civic Center. He's here to talk about recent events at the center, upcoming events, as well as the Queensbury Hotel. Plus, I also sit down with Chad Rabinovitz. Now, he's the producing artistic director of the Adirondack Theater Festival. He's here to talk about the upcoming productions this season, which starts in June. You really want to see this interview. But first, if you see news happening, you want to share a story idea, how about join us for an interview? Give us a call on the hotline. The number is 798-8000.